starts with a new point that is measurement. Measurement you might be learning from the class third, fourth in the mathematics. Am I right? So can you feel that measurement is important in your life? Yes, measurement is very important. Why it is important? See, in our day-to-day -day life, we use the measurement. For example, when you are going to buy any grocery, when you are going to buy any grocery, what happens? We need to measure it. Am I right? When you are buying vegetables, fruits, that time also you need a measurement. Am I right? So measurement is used, is necessary in our day-to-day -day life. So now when you are buying anything, or suppose we need some kind of unit. Am I right? There should be a some unit. For example, what is exactly a unit? The if you are buying something, five kg of potato. Five kg of potato. If you are saying I want the five kg of potato. Now five is the number. Am I right? If I will go to the market and if I will say I want five, will you give me five five potato? What does it mean? Five kg, five gram. What is that actually? A five potato. How much you want? Am I right? So we need a proper unit. Yes or no? So we need a proper unit. So five is a number and kg is a unit. Suppose if I will tell you, I am walking five. I will walk a kilometer, five meter. What is? We will not get exact information if the unit is not given. Am I right? In a measurement part, unit is very important. Are you getting? Unit tells you how much kilometer, how much the particular thing is. Am I right? Suppose if you are buying any cloth, how much meter you are buying that cloth? Five meter, one meter, two meter, how much meter? The meter tells you the exact distance or a particular, a uh, particular length of a particular substance. Are you getting? So in measurement, unit plays an important role. Getting this? Then let us learn about the physical quantity. Now, what is the physical quantity? The quantity which we can measure. For example, if I want to measure this the uh, length of the room, or if I want to measure this room, so I need the some quantity. So how I can measure? I cannot take a mass of this room. Am I right? I should need a length. Am I right? So the quantity which we can measure, such as length, mass, time, these are the physical quantity which we can measure. Correct? Length, how much distance, how much meter, we can tell with the length. Correct? So the physical quantity means what? The quantity which we can measure, such a quantity is called as a physical quantity. For example, the main physical, basic physical, or we can say the fundamental quantity are length, mass, and time. If you are measuring with a, for the distance we take, you will, we measure with a length. We take the unit as a length. If you want to calculate any mass or the matter of an object, then we use mass. Time, that is very important. Am I right? Now the time is important. Now you are your Umi Baba students. So you have to read a lot of things. We are scientists. You have to get more and more information. So don't waste time. So time is very important. Then in unit, there are many three systems. That is MKS, CGS and FKS. Now I have told you physical quantity. The quantity which we can measure. Such a quantity is called as a physical quantity. Now it will consider the length. Am I right? So it should have a standard unit. See, there are the different units of length meter, centimeter, inch, kilometer, decimeter, decameter, hectometer. This no top unit it has. Am I right? But there should be a standard unit that should be accepted by the all of the world. Worldwide accepted should be unit should be. Am I right? So these three systems are being included. That is MKS, CGS, and FPS. Let's talk on this. So if we will consider the length, the standard unit of a length is meter. The standard unit is accepted unit. That is this MKS system. That is what is exactly the MKS, CGS, and FPS. That's the and means what? What is the standard unit of length? Length can be measured with the, the one 
scalar and what is meant by the bracket quantity? Excellent. Scalar quantity means the physical quantity which only tells about the magnitude. Now what is magnitude? Magnitude is nothing but a size. Magnitude is nothing but a size. Are you getting? The physical quantity which tells only about the magnitude, such a quantity is called as a scalar quantity. For example, if I will tell you, tell you I, my weight is 40 kg. My weight is 40 kg. So that much information is enough for you. Yes or no? So we, the sentence is completed. Am I right? So such a quantity is called as a scalar quantity. Now what is a vector quantity? The physical quantity which we, uh, we should know magnitude as well as direction. The quantity which uh, the quantity which has magnitude as well as direction. For example, now an aeroplane is flying 500 km per hour. In, in which direction? Here the direction is important. Am I right? In towards the Mumbai, towards the Delhi. Am I right? So here the sentence is completed. So in a physical quantity where we need the direction, such a quantity is called as a vector quantity. Such a quantity it is called as a vector quantity. For example, the length is a not or we can say distance comes in the scalar quantity and vector displacement. Now what is the difference between the distance and displacement? Let's learn. Distance and displacement.